Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. Right now, federal investigators are on the scene in Queens trying to figure out who did it. CBS 2 Jessica Borg is live in Springfield Gardens, and she just got an update from police. Jessica? Christine Maurice, police say the canister involved contains a low explosive and did not have shrapnel. Now, right now, the streets around the house remain blocked off. Detectives still investigating what types of materials were used, who sent it, and who might have been targeted. This is cell phone video showing the 72 year old victim doubled over in pain and shock, his clothes scattered on the front lawn just moments after the explosion. Police say the landlord had opened a package left on the porch of this home in Springfield Gardens when it blew up. I heard a loud explosion and it shook the house. Rick Thomas then saw tons of smoke. He's one of several neighbors who threw wet towels on the man. And I saw a man laying in the grass. Well, he's actually on his knees and he was on fire. Well, yeah, he was screaming out in pain. A lot of pain because he was engulfed. The flames engulfed his whole top half. Within moments, first responders rushing him to the hospital with second to third degree burns covering 80% of his body. That's crazy. That's, that's real crazy. The bomb squad taking over the property on 222nd Street near 145th Road. They're testing residue on the brick and front door where half the glass is blown out. Investigators say the package is cylinder in shape seen here, filled with black powder or gunpowder commonly used in antique firearms. There is substantial evidence left from this device, which appears to be a victim actuated device. In other words, when he opened it, the explosion occurred. Police say the package had no postal information on it and had been sitting on the porch for seven days. It was addressed to a single name that detectives are not releasing at this point. They say two families rent out the home and the piece of mail didn't belong to them. The landlord apparently comes by every so often to check on the house in a neighborhood described as safe. Nobody's in the streets, nobody does anything. It's quiet. And the victim is listed in critical condition at this hour. We are live tonight in Springfield Gardens, Queens. Jessica Borg, CBS 2 News. Jessica, thank you.